so in this video we can start unit 4 or fourth unit of compiler design so in this unit we can discuss these concepts those are runtime environment and symbol table so in runtime environment we can cover what is meant by storage organization what is meant by stack allocation of space and how to access non-local data on stack heap management so these are the concepts under runtime environment in symbol table we can discuss introduction to the symbol table entries and whatever the several operations on the symbol table and symbol table organizations and non-block structural languages and structural languages or block structural language so these are the concepts we will discuss in fourth unit so now we start the first concept that is runtime environment so now we discuss about what is meant by runtime environment so generally at the time of developing the compiler or compiler writer so this compiler writer is responsible or compiler is responsible for providing or implementing the whatever the several abstractions was embodied by the programming language so those abstractions was must and should be implemented by the compiler so that is the major responsibility of the compiler so here abstractions means nothing but uh, what are the several variables names and scopes of such variables and bindings and data types operators procedures parameters and flow of control statements so these all things can be treated as the some abstractions provided or some abstractions uh, uh, implemented by the programming language so that means based on requirement so these abstractions can be implemented or uh, used by the programming language then we, uh, compiler is responsible for implementing such abstractions so here to fulfill or to implementing those abstractions the compiler is must be responsible or must be cooperates with the operating system whatever the operating system was used by that particular can device and whatever the several system softwares was used on the that particular machine so to complete these abstractions here compiler must be cooperate or shares with these three things uh, uh, compiler and operating system and system software supported by the such end device so to complete these abstractions the compiler can create and manage some runtime environment so this uh, for th uh, this environment is nothing but runtime environment so this runtime environment main intention is to fulfill or to complete and manage the these abstractions that is how to create such abstractions and how to uh, providing the memory or allocating the memory for such abstractions and then how to execute or complete the implementation of that particular abstraction so to to complete this entire process here compiler can create some environment such environment is known as the runtime environment so in this environment can having different types of uh, issues so those are how to allocate and how to layout of the storage that means how uh, how to providing a storage layout for such abstractions and how to allocate the storage for the uh, such particular allocate uh, such particular abstractions so these two things can be discussed within this these two things can be implemented by the runtime environment so now we discuss what is meant by storage organization and then we discuss whatever the different types of storage organizations like static and dynamic so in this uh, in this slide or in this ppt we can discuss about what is meant by storage organization so here to executing the target program or to completing the execution of any program so here compiler can runs or uh, those the target program can be run its own logical address space that means to complete each and every program or uh, every source program that particular program can runs its own logical address space so in this logical address space each program value as treated as a one location so here the management and organization of this logical address space is so that means to complete or to fulfill this logical address space so here the compiler must be shares with operating system 
and target mission so that means to complete these management and organization of the logical address space these three things can be shared those memory allocations or the storage organization can be shared by the these three things those are compiler operating system and target mission so here the operating system responsibility is so out of these three here operating system is responsible for uh, mapping the logical addresses into physical addresses so for that purpose here operating system was used and then in this runtime representation so an object program in the logical address space consists of uh, data and program areas that means uh, to managing to managing this storage organization or uh, this runtime uh, representation so entire memory will be divided into several uh, several things so those are uh, we will observe in next ppt so for example we consider some programming language or some compiler like as c++ and uh, operating system like as linux then the entire storage or runtime memory will be divided into several ways those are code static heap and stack so here the uh, the runtime memory can be divided into several data sets so those are code static heap and stack so here code means nothing but at the time of compilation here compiler is responsible for based on the source program it can calculate how much amount of memory can be required to complete the compilation of that particular program so that is performed at the time of compilation so that's why whatever the memory chosen by the compiler that memory is fixed so that means static memory or some fixed amount of memory can be uh, required to complete the that particular compilation of uh, compilation of the that particular source program for that purpose here it can choose static memory so that means it can reserve some amount of fixed memory for compilation of the that particular program and the remaining free memory can be used at the time of execution of that particular program so here total memory will be divided into two parts one is static and another one is dynamic so this static memory is chosen for storing the source code or entire program and dynamic memory is used for uh, that so uh, that uh, static memory is suitable or that static memory is used at the time of compilation process and the remaining free memory is reserved for or used by the execution time or run time so in this run time we can use two types of commonly we can use two types of storage uh, storages those are heap storage and stack storage here stack storage is responsible for or stack storage is used for uh, to providing the sequence of procedures whatever the uh, how, whatever the procedures was used by the source program those all so, uh, see, all procedures was implemented by using stack memory storage or stack storage of memory and uh, whatever the data was required for implementing or for completing the such procedures such entire data will be uh, such entire data will be stored by heap storage organization so these are the to, to, uh, this is the process of uh, this runtime environment or this uh, runtime memory can be divided into different codes and data areas so those are static and dynamic in static it can use some fixed amount of memory to store such entire program for compilation purpose in dynamic it can use whatever the available free memory so to complete the execution of that particular program so now we observe what is meant by static storage allocation and what is meant by dynamic storage allocation so here these two objectives that means static storage allocation and dynamic storage allocation is depending upon the compiler so that means so that particular storage allocation or storage layout is uh, performed at the time of compilation then we can say that that st storage allocation is static storage allocation in case uh, some storage allocation is performed or implemented by at the time implemented at the time of execution time or run time then we can say that such a storage allocation is dynamic storage allocation so here to implement dynamic storage allocation commonly uh, many programming uh, sorry many compilers was used two storages uh, two storages as two storage allocations those are stack storage allocation and heap storage allocation so just now we discussed stack storage allocation is responsible for provide the memory for names 
names within that particular program and whatever the procedures was used by the, that particular program so these uh, memory these things memory can be allocated by the so sorry these things can be implemented by the stack storage so that means whatever the local variables and then whatever the procedures those all are allocated by the stack memory and then whatever the data related to the these procedures such data or such information can be provided by the heap storage so these are the details about what is meant by runtime environment and what is meant by storage allocation and what is meant by static versus dynamic storage allocation in next video we can discuss about stack allocation of space thank you